When I first started reading the article, I was really confused as to how this author, author could claim that gaming fulfills genuine human needs. To me, it's definitely a weak substitute, like for maybe someone who can't participate in real life the way they would like to because of a disability or because of lack of social skills. It definitely seems like it could be a good replacement for that, but there's no way that achieving something on a game is at all as rewarding as it is in real life, especially if it involves any personal interaction. Another thing that I kind of thought was a problem is that I know these games take a lot of skill and intelligence and oftentimes the people who are playing them um, are very smart people because they have to be able to figure out these strategies and if gaming becomes as huge as this guy thinks it's going to, what, what happens if people who would have otherwise become doctors or scientists or police officers, like people we need in our everyday life to either come up with cures for things or protect us, what if they all become gamers and get developed in this digital world and then we are left with less smart people to do real things. It didn't, I still think that the virtual and real world are two separate places because this guy didn't quite convince me that he knew how to make, um, how to apply digital games into the real life, in the, in the real world. He says it could cure cancer, stress, depression, and poverty, but he never explained at all how he would go about doing those things and I just seem like it's very far-fetched and it would be a great idea if we could put the intelligence of these gamers to use but I am a little unclear on how that would happen. I guess I need to read the book but the only application I can maybe think of this that has already been implemented in today's world is the iPhone application called Foursquare which is something that gives you points and allows you to earn badges for traveling different places and visiting different restaurants and it doesn't allow you to cheat or anything because of the GPS on the phone. If I would log into Foursquare right now, I would see the places in a, you know, five, maybe a f one mile radius of here and then I can check in and earn points for that check in and you compete against your friends. So that's maybe a game that would encourage people to expand in the real world and, you know, visit new places. But I still think the real world and the virtual world are very separate.